Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. This is the Communist Mall in Hearts of Iron 4. And today we are going to try our very first offensive move against Uruguay. I have no idea how successful it's going to be. We should have, if I'm not mistaken, well, three transport planes. I was only expecting two, but we've got three as it turns out. Um, so let's try our very best to make this work out. Uh, you are going to be... Dis uh, no, don't be disbanded. That's not really what I wanted. You should be in an army, though. So get in that army. And you should be unassigned, right? Because I want this to only be paratroopers in here. Sorry, buddy. It sucks, but hey-ho. Alright, let's start planning out this move. Should be able to go over here. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good place. Um, I don't really see any better a place. Looks absolutely fine to me. Um, Italy pursues closer bonds with Germany. Uh, okay, let's... Let's, let's actually go and have a look at that, actually. German interest in Scandinavia. Okay, that sounds fun. Yeah, th th uh, Germany's pretty powerful right now. Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful, I'll be honest. Um, yeah, let's, let's see how this actually works. Let's see how this works. Norway joined the Allies. Alright, good. Congrats, Norway. Alright, I think we're going to go for it. Hey, that was very quick. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. So Uruguay actually has troops, and a lot more troops than I was really expecting. A lot more troops than I was expecting. All right. That is a little bit of a bummer. <sighs> Goodness me. Delete that order. Is there any way that we can paratroop onto the capital? I don't even know if there's a way that we can tell how many troops he's got. But the fact that they've got more than me, that's... Alright, well, we've just wasted that manpower. Thank goodness we were able to cancel our current order. Um, Alright, well, I guess that kind of throws a little bit of a spanner in the works. But we do clearly need uh, a little bit more... A little bit more paratroopers. A few more paratroopers. A lot more paratroopers, okay? I said it. A lot more paratroopers. We need a lot more paratroopers. Um, are we still sending units over here? What are we doing? Don't send any units. Go over there. Man, alright. So I thought that these guys were going to be way, way, way less defended than they actually are. Yeah, this guy is crushing me. This guy is absolutely crushing me. This isn't even this isn't even funny. He's just got he's got more guys. He's gonna be able to do it. It's, that we're, no, it's, we're not gonna win. That's that Alright, well, GG. <laughs> great, great job. Great job there, buddy. Um honestly, that's kind of a little bit of a bummer, but at the same time, gives us an opportunity to get more some uh, some more paratroopers. Ah, whoops. Uh, add some more units, location, that's what I meant to do. And yeah, start getting a couple of units set up. There we go. Lots of units. Lots and lots and lots of units. Low manpower. Honestly, there's nothing that I can do about that. There's nothing that I can do about that. Fighter focus, grand aviation effort. Sure, whatever. Sign me up. So, my question is, why on earth have we not got... Why can we not get more more uh, more states, more more slots? Assassination of, of Leon Trotsky, barbaric. All right. Can we make peace with these guys? Not really. No, we can't. Wow, great. Hey, okay. So Argentina's finally finished that little bit of a little bit of a spat. We're down to 41%. What? How? How on earth? I, I, I don't understand. Like, surely. 
Surely we must have done something at least moderately correct. You come over here. Jeez, I, uh, I don't understand that, quite frankly, but hey-ho. Um, also, I want more availability in these states. Like, I want more stuff. But, uh, clearly don't know how to do that. I guess it's just concentrated industry, maybe? Like, that might be just what we have to do. We're working on the second level, but it's going to take a while. Human wave offensive. Recovery rate out of supply. Yeah, we'll get it. Why not? Eh, it's the last piece of tech. Might as well. Eh, let's let's hold off on that actually for now. Uh, encryption, decryption, reinforce rate. Get that instead. Yeah. Uh, because if I'm not mistaken, there is a national focus which is. Oh, I thought that we we got we had one more doctrine uh, effort to go, but perhaps I'm wrong. That's fine. That's no biggie. Uh, we're holding off on doing the doctrine for a little bit. That's that's not a problem at all. All right, things are uh, things are yeah. Uh, German interest in Scandinavia. Luxembourg joins the Allies. German Reich declared war on Luxembourg. How is Norway doing? How are my friends in Norway doing? They're doing fine, actually. That's great. That's great. How is Russia doing? Should I give them some stuff? Could give them some stuff. Could give them 10 units monthly. Yeah, why not? Uh, you know, I've got to do my bit. If I give them 10 units per month, then uh, I'm sure that they're going to be able to do pretty much nothing with that. But there you go. Um, I'm helping out in my own little special way. Uh, manpower suddenly shot up. What did we actually? What did we actually complete? We actually completed, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, the land doctrine. We completed this, the human wave offensive, recruitable population. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Now that we've managed to, well, not solve our uh, our manpower problems. Our manpower problems are still pretty pretty bad, but um, they might allow us to get enough troops to overwhelm the uh, the small little state of Uruguay. I mean, that's really what we're after, right? I mean, I still can't get... I still can't get military access through these guys. Like, that's just so annoying, isn't it? That's so annoying. Council boost popularity. Boost party popularity. Nah, it's still 0 0.2. Yeah, that's annoying. Uh, the, the coup is only... Yeah, it's going to take a long-ass time to, to complete itself. Man, yeah, my goodness. It's, it's really, really difficult to make any progress because Americans uh, are just, you know, guaranteeing the independence of these states. The states are so much bigger than us, around us. Not like I'm making excuses or anything, but, uh, you know, that's that's the way of the world. <sighs> yeah. Would love to get some more, some more, fourteen states unlocked. Japanese diplomats in Berlin. Sixteen states, and wow, holy cow! Uruguay is doing much better than us. Although I suppose they are kind of coastal. Yeah, that's, that's definitely why they're doing better than us. That makes sense. I'm just making excuses now. Uh, we're still making transport planes. Honestly, probably don't need transport planes. We probably also need better, uh, radio? Perfect. I was waiting to say, we probably need better, um, land personnel kit or whatever you call it. So, we might as well head for that. Military factories, let's put it all into that. Let's also get rid of all of the stuff that we currently trade. Um, da -da 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 -da. rubber, let's get that down. We don't import any of that. Oil, get rid of the oil. Aluminium, also get rid of the aluminium. And instead, import some steel. Perfect. Uh, rocket effort, sure, why not? Why not? Why not beeline straight for the nuclear technologies? Makes total sense to me. Even though we literally have not very many civilian factories. Kind of weird, but whatever. 
Uh, how close are we to concentrated industry? This should give us max factories in a state plus 20%. Um, I don't know if that's going to actually make a difference. But it should, right? Like, it really should. Factory repair speed, resource efficiency gain. I mean, maybe we want to go for resource efficiency gain and try and be a little bit more self-sufficient. I don't really know. Um, but the improved infantry equipment, I guess, is going to be quite nice to, to get a hold of. How is this guy coming along? Well, we can't find out, but if we could, I'm sure it would be really interesting, buddy. Really interesting. Uh, the next thing that I'm probably going to research is uh, equipment effort so that I can sort of springboard off support equipment and then go straight into the real equipment and then maybe the same again actually just before we do our offensive might might be an idea might be an idea um, we've certainly got you know a fine level of production for inventory equipment the more the merrier as far as I'm concerned always good to be up on inventory equipment uh, soldier training has soldier training coming along soldier training is coming along nicely that's good if we didn't throw uh, our soldiers to their deaths before then we'd have more right now but unfortunately we don't uh, fall of Cairo that doesn't really matter land lease to the Soviet Union Wow no legal transport path well that's great that that is just great uh, we did the production efficiency cap Let's go for the next production efficiency cap, I guess. Yeah, it seems completely legit. Yeah, why not? Uh, it seems fine. Seems fine to me. Denmark joined the Allies. Honestly, I, I hope that the Allies uh, do a darn good job, because I'm certainly... Well, not well. I'm not doing a bad job, I suppose, but uh, things aren't exactly going great over here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Brazil and Argentina have troops on my border. And they've got a lot more troops than I have, which is kind of depressing. The, you know, uh, it seems, the game seems balanced against, uh, against Paraguay, quite frankly. That's what I think. How close are we to this coup completing? Oh, God, come on. We're so close. Greece joined the Allies. That's great. Italy lays claim to Greek territory. Is there anything that we can really do to... No, we can pretty much do nothing to Uruguay. Except, you know, send all of our troops to their death. Which is probably going to happen. But we're going to try and capture the capital. That might actually somehow majestically work. Netherlands has joined the Allies, that's cool. Equipment effort, let's get that set up. Yeah, so if we if we somehow manage to power uh, if we somehow manage to power paratroop drop to like here and then just straight away move into the capital, that might work. I don't know if it will, but hey ho! Oh, beautiful! We got an extra an extra slot in uh, in the state, which is really nice. Uh, we of course want to build synthetic oil, as you are well aware. Uh, you can go right to the top, buddy, and you're going to be built in September. That's fine. Research slot, um, concentrated industry, yep, that's what we want, that's the the next upgrade for us. It's really what we need. Uh, we also need troops, we also need, well, we need a lot of everything, actually, I guess. We need a lot of everything. Yeah, alright, well, fingers crossed, it, fingers crossed it all goes well. But, um, if only we could get, like, a really powerful ally. You know, like, uh, you know, like some, some big Soviet power, you know, like some, something like that, maybe. If you, uh, kind of wanted to let me in. I mean, we can, we're still, we're in this perpetual war with Uruguay. Maybe it wouldn't have been, maybe that wasn't such a great idea, right? Maybe it wasn't such a great idea, but honestly, I'm still kind of hopeful that just out of pure sneakiness, uh, out of pure sneakiness, I should be able to, like, capture the capital. And perhaps manage to win it. I mean, maybe not, but at the same time, maybe so. I mean, if we have a little look at you, uh, how far can you actually go? We can so we can get to the state right next to it. So I don't want to do that quite yet, but I will want to soon. 
going to send troops to the airport in anticipation. For participation, actually. There we go. So we got eight regiments. We need... I think I spotted nine. So I'd like to go in there with like, uh, you know, 10 or 15, really. Uh, okay. All right. Pressures nationalist Spain. That's fine. Um, can we check our production inventory equipment? We need way more than we currently are producing, which is kind of fine, I guess. Uh, we should also probably look at our paratrooper division and perhaps readjust it, add some support artillery. This can be parachuted. Do we want? Do we even want to get artillery? Because I, I don't even know if that's something that we want to get. Well, we could get support equipment. That's probably something that we want to get. But we, we haven't even researched support equipment yet. Which is kind of nuts. Our inventory equipment is, I would say, probably behind the curve. So I, I suppose that we probably really want to get on top of our inventory equipment before we do our uh, our, our GG push sort of thing. You know, straight for, uh, straight for Uruguay. We also need way more troops. So, you know, it's going to take a, a little while to accumulate those troops. Uh, but the equipment is coming along quite nicely, which is good. The improved inventory equipment as well. When that finishes up, that should be really nice. Um, that should be nice and easy to uh, just springboard off. Uh, speaking of, when can we finish the equipment effort? Pretty soon, actually. Yeah, I think we're going to wait for the equipment effort to finish up producing, and then we will choose our next uh, inventory thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll, you know, save up a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of research for now whilst we wait for the thing to complete in six days so really not that long at all and uh, the game is starting to go slower in five times speed as you may be noticing that's because there is probably more to be simulated in Europe and uh, looks like the Germans are not doing super well in Europe Hungary is falling Wow holy cow there is, there is entirely the chance, by the way, that we just might not even get the opportunity to uh, to ally with the Soviet Union because they might have capitulated to Germany already. That's not something that I really want to think about, quite frankly, but it is something that could conceivably happen. Weapons 2. There we go. See? That was what I was intending to do. Um, and that's going to be done in 60 days. That's it's pretty darn good, to be honest. Weapons 3. We could probably just go straight into Weapons 3 if we wanted to uh, get the Equipment Effort 3. Would be quite a good idea. I think. Um, yeah? So that's done in 47 days. At the end of that 47 days, we'll probably... Okay, here's the plan. Hmm. I don't like this plan, actually. Well, this is done in 52 days. What's this? You're done in 52 days. Okay. This is done in more than 50 days. Okay, so that's going to work out really well. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish doing this. Then straight away, we're going to start researching this. It's going to take 166 days. And then we're going to research the weapons three with the 50% reduction in uh, time that it takes. So it's only going to take like, what, 130 days or something, which is actually shorter than than this bad boy over here. So that's the plan. We're going to have to... It's going to be kind of kind of close. We're going to have to make sure that we stay on top of our game while, uh, you know, we need to pay attention, basically, which is, you know, not a not a trait that I'm fantastic at. But uh, it should give us the advantage against uh, our opponents. It really should. Uh, and as soon as these two industry upgrades are... Uh, fall of Kiev. Okay, <laughs> okay, Soviet Union. Come on, come on, bro. Uh, as soon as we are uh, finished with these two, we'll probably start going for more combat-oriented uh, technologies that will actually be useful for us uh, during combat against Uruguay. Because it's super annoying how Uruguay is still existing, and I have not been able to crush them quite yet. Uh, speaking of crushing, how is our how is our Paraguayan synthetic refinery going? It's actually not going too badly. It's not going too badly. It's looking pretty darn swell. How are we doing in uh, in terms of research? Yeah, so the synthetic refinery should basically just allow us to make planes 
not entirely by herself. We'll, we're still going to need uh, a couple of resources. And when I say planes, I mean like transport planes or indeed uh, interwar fighters, should we want to do so. Uh, but it should allow us to make them pretty much by by ourselves. We are going to need... Da, 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 da. Yeah, we're still going to need a little bit of aluminium to uh, to make those bad boys, but not too concerned by that. All right, you're 95.4% finished. That's good. Can we slow it down to speed four? No, I don't really want to slow it down to speed four. It gets a little bit a little bit jittery at speed five, as you as you are well aware. But hey ho, uh, yeah, production efficiency cap. This is pretty much only going to help uh, inventory equipment. I don't think we really ever make anything apart from inventory equipment. Okay, that's good. Now, what do we want to make with you? Uh, let's go to inventory. Don't need motorized. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Support weapons. I think support weapons is actually kind of what we want. Night vision, land, night attack. Um, or we could look into getting some sort of, you know, support, I guess. I, I you know, Support equipment. I don't really feel the need to do any of this stuff, but uh, it's, it's maybe worth a try, I guess. But... And, or artillery, if we really wanted to. But I really don't like the thought of producing artillery. Um, I guess support weapons is something that will make a little bit of a difference in. Defense, breakthrough, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I suppose that that's going to be kind of useful. So I suppose we'll try and get uh, really into our support weapons. Bear in mind that our technology is pretty far behind uh, uh, Uruguayan technology right now. As you're probably aware, I'm aware of it, you're aware of it. This is done in nine days or so. This should be done in four days. That's great. It means we can immediately springboard into the next technology. I'm really happy with the way that this turned out, actually. Like, it was it was unintentionally, like, a really good play. Because, naturally, this has a shorter time, because it's 1940, rather than this, which is 1942. Uh, so, all in all, it should work pretty darn spiffingly if i do say so myself but anyway uh, we're gonna end up the episode there ladies and gents thank you very very much for watching we've got eight paratrooper regiments eight ready to go we've got a couple more that are being trained which is really really good uh, and i think in the next episode once we've done a little bit more research then we should be ready to attack uruguay once and for all the gg push uh fingers crossed that it's going to work and after that we're going to be looking to have a little bit more of a global presence like the huge country that we are um, wow, holy cow, Germany is getting remarkably close to Moscow, I would hasten to add. Uh, not very happy with the progress that they're making. France is getting wrecked. Uh, what's new there? Uh, Moscow is going to get wrecked. That's very, very worrying. Well, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Ode Potato. This has been the Communist Mole. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.